Hello guys and you're welcome back. In our last lesson we saw how we can import our animations. Let's go ahead and add the rest of our animations we're going to be using on our character. There are two ways we can do this. When you open your project you can double click on the player or you can click on the player objects here. I'll just double click on the player instance and we can see we have our idle animation. Let's go ahead and add the rest of the animation. So I'll click on the anima add animation and I'll just click on the plus icon. This should ask us where we want to find those files. I'll click on the PNG, go over to the sprites folder and I'll click on the player. The next animation I like to bring in is the skip or the walk run animation. So I'll just click all these and just drag them and click open. Now that I have this animation, I'll just click here and I'll call it skip. So let's go ahead and do the same thing for the jump. So remember, click on add animation, click on add a sprite or a group of sprites. Let's go back to our sprites folder. And next, let's look for our player jump, which is just four animations. And let's click open. Next, we want to name this. So let's just say jump. The reason why we name this is because you can easily access the animation you want to uh, swap into when that player is uh, running. So basically, if the player is jumping, you want the jump animation to be activated. And you can do that using the animation name. You can use a name or a number. I just like uh, using names. So next, let's go ahead and add the player death animation. So I'll click on Sprite, go back to player, and let's just look for hurt. And I'll just add these two and click open. And we can have the hurt animation. And let's go ahead and click apply. So if we open up our player again, we can actually see we have all these four animations. We can add more animations if we want. And simply clicking on add sprite, going back to our player, and we can add the fall or the dock or the climb animation when our player is climbing a ladder. I'll just drag in the climb animation. And then we'll call that climb. Sometimes your art assets might have more than animations you need, which is super fine. Let's go ahead and click on file and go to save and we'll continue working on our project in the next lesson. 